Hey, we have here a really long, complicated looking integral from MIT integration B 2017, problem 20. So I think in a case like this, when there's just a lot of things going on, they kind of want to scare you into just kind of quitting or moving on. But the important thing here is just to break this up into pieces, try to simplify it a little bit at a time and get it into something we can handle. In that spirit, I'm gonna rewrite this a little bit. I think what I'm gonna do is we have a lot of cosines. I wanna break this tangent into just sine x over cosine x. We'll rewrite it that way. And then you'll notice on this cosine, we can rewrite this exponent as where this addition here, we can write this as multiplication. So we could actually just take a cosine x out of this expression. Okay, so we've just made a small change here. So our one here comes down as this other cosine, and our, here's our tan as sine x cos x. Well, that'll, that'll allow us to just do a cancellation here of these two cosines. And then, now we notice we still have a bunch of cosines in this expression, and we have sine, which is close to the derivative of cosine, the derivative of cosine's negative sine. So let's do a u substitution for the cosines and see if that can simplify this a little bit more. Okay, so here's the substitution I have in mind. And just to get this to line up nicely, I'm gonna add a, we'll put a minus on this sine x so that this with our dx, this whole thing is gonna be du, not not the, just the sine x and the dx is our du. And then, but we'll bring a minus sign out front here. And then we can make our substitutions. So we're gonna have minus u to the u, cosines u. Then we're just gonna have one plus ln and cosine against u, so we're just gonna have ln of u there, du. Now the next thing I notice here is this u to the u situation. When we're integrating and we have a variable in the exponent, we almost always want the base to be e, but we can actually just fix that, but we can make our u, we can rewrite that as e to the ln u. So rewriting again, we'll have e to the ln u, but I'm gonna take that other u and just put it right there. And then we'll have one plus ln u du. But now I think we can do another substitution just because this is a tricky derivative they use here that kind of, it's kind of disguised, but actually I think you'll see this will work out nice if we make our substitution for this. So let's call v equal to u ln u, and then let's take the derivative of that dv. Uh, the derivative of the u is just one, so we're gonna have ln u plus u derivative of the second term, using the product rule, derivative of ln u is one over u, but these cancel and this is just a one here. So our dv is just one ln u du, and that's exactly what we have right here. So making that substitution, all we're left with is just e to the v dv. And like I said at the beginning with a few steps, we come to a very simple integral. Then just integrating this, we're just gonna have e negative v plus c. And then all we need to do is clean up the board and back substitute. Okay, so now we have this simple expression, but we just need to get it back to x. And I think what I'm gonna do, rather than just back substitute, we're gonna, let's make a couple changes. So I'm gonna rewrite this v. We can bring the u into the exponent just using log properties. So we can write this as ln u to the u. And now I'll back substitute, we'll have minus e to our v, which is ln u to the u, but essentially these just cancel, and then we're gonna have just minus u to the u. But then we know that u is just cosine of x, so we can rewrite our final answer as cosine x minus cosine x to the cosine x plus c, and we're done. So in theory, you could actually combine these um, two into just one substitution and that would work fine. It just might be a little hard to see it and so it's also fine to do it with two substitutions. Anyway, that was MIT 2017, problem number 20. This is the last one on this exam. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.